Apple closed up 3.5%, Tesla closed up over 12%, guys. What is going on guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you are new to the channel, please consider dropping a sub and leaving a like. That would be greatly appreciated and it's going to help you by putting you into the drawing for our giveaway at 500 subs for a $50 Amazon gift card as well as this awesome piece of wall art. Today was actually a pretty boring day in the stock market unless you owned Apple or Tesla. And these two stocks began trading at their new stock price. Uh, Apple did that 4 to 1 stock split and Tesla did the 5 to 1 stock split and they absolutely picked up where they left off coming into last week like these stocks apple closed up three and a half percent tesla closed up over 12 percent guys and this is insane because when you do a stock split the value of the company doesn't change it's just how many shares are in circulation so the market cap did not change at all between close of friday and open on monday but what did was just the amount of shares in the market and at this cheaper stock price you saw a bunch of people flood in and buy a bunch more shares. So aside from those two companies, it was a pretty ugly day in the market. Like every single company that I owned aside from Apple was down like two and a half, three percent on the day. It was an ugly day, but if we are long-term investors and we can keep everything in perspective, I think we are gonna be absolutely fine. Traditionally, going into the month of September, it is the one month where the stock market on a uh, you know historical performance basis performs actually the worst out of any single month. Like if we're looking at this diagram I'm throwing up here, you know, on average the month of September, you know, is a net negative loss actually on the S&P 500. When you know if you if you remember going back to finance classes or anything like that, the average rate of return on the S&P 500, uh, you know, a conservative number is like seven and a half eight percent annualized. So one of those months that has traditionally been bad is September. And I I kind of think that it may be the same story this year because you know we have an election this year. Leading into elections, there's always a lot of volatility. This year on top of everything, we have the coronavirus. So there's a bunch of question marks still with you know vaccine, treatment, testing, all this stuff, throwing questions at the market. And on top of that, September is just traditionally a bad month. I don't know if it's just kind of how earnings fall in and you know, everybody going into the holidays, you know, kind of selling off their, you know, the profit, profit taking, and then going into the holidays, you actually see, you know, a massive, uh, you know, returns and, you know, December, January, those are where you see the really big returns in the stock market. However, to keep it positive, the month of August that we have seen, uh, you know, today was the last day of August. So it definitely kind of hurt the, this statistic a little bit, but it has been one of the best months ever in the stock market. We have absolutely taken off this month. I'm sure if you have any blue chip or you know any stocks within the S&P 500 or anything like that, you have done very well this month. A lot of major companies are you know doing well, but they were absolutely beaten down today. I do want to note just a one thing about you know Tesla having the great day it had, being up 12%. I think they're going to continue to probably have a pretty solid run going into September 22nd, which is battery day. I would be cautious though. I just think that this stock is still so overpriced. And, you know, I know a bunch of people who are um, bearish on Tesla have lost a bunch of money. And I may be one of those people that, you know, I, I'm just going to continue to be proven wrong. Um, but, you know, Tesla, even at $500 or whatever it's at right about now is still just crazy expensive to me. Um, just based on the market cap and everything like that. They're trading over a thousand times per earnings. Like it is insane. The valuation on this company is insane. I don't doubt Elon Musk. He's a pretty crazy dude. He came out today with like some chip technology that they're working on at his, his private company. So it's not part of Tesla or anything like that uh, to basically it's like a Fitbit for your head or your brain and the implant it in your brain and just crazy stuff like that. So I'm never going to doubt Elon Musk and his ability to deliver. I'm just a little cautious at the current valuation. You saw the other uh, EV stocks, Xping, Nikola, Neo, they all had a, a pretty bad day today. Um, Nikola didn't have a terrible day. They were actually up like three or four percent and then trailed off uh, towards the end of the day and closed in negative territory. Xping, which is the recently um, newly IPO'd uh, EV company from China, they had a really bad day. They sold off pretty hard. Neo as well did not have a good day at all. So I would kind of expect to see this 
going along, whereas Tesla gains massively, you're probably going to see the other EVs pull back a bit because it's just like anything else. When the big when the big boy is gaining ground, gaining market share, anything like that, um, you know, the other guys are going to be hurt. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please drop a like and a sub. That would be fantastic. And I will see you guys tomorrow.